Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be going over all of the game passes in Driving Empire. From VIP to Track Car, all the way to Premium Boost, you'll see it in this video. I won't be going over VIP for very long, because I already have a video on that, and if you should buy it or not, it's in the description, so you, if you want to check that out. But anyways, let's get right into the video. First is going to be the track pass. Um, I think you should get this. It's not a bad pass. I mean, you have things like this. Yeah, it doesn't have really... Details aren't very good on this one. Um, but you also have cars. If I scroll through my, my list, you have cars like this. Not a lot of people have this, actually. And the most notable, let me find it right here, the Bugatti Bolide. Um, one of the best cars in the game, in my opinion. Um, but there are some others. We'll just we'll just run inside, run inside and look at them real quick. <laughs> Sorry. So, like I said, the RCF Lexus. We'll scroll through down here. Um, I believe this is the a GT3, an Aston, or GTE. It, it's one of their GT cars. Um, not a lot of people have this. It's a pretty cool car in my opinion. There aren't a ton of them. Here's the 599X. Uh, I think this is, I don't think this is the Evo. If it is, my bad. It might be the Evo. I don't know. Uh, the Sesto Elemento, I've heard this is really good at, uh, the circuit, so it's kind of worth it. Uh, my least favorite car in the game by a long shot, the Amola, replace the Zonda R. I hate it. And, like I said, the Bugatti Bolide. Um, it's around a hundred Robux, I don't remember exactly. I'll check real quick, it is a hundred and twenty-five. Hey, it's kind of correct. Um, it's not bad for value. You get the ability to buy these cars, which the big one I'd like to say is this one. And the second biggest one is the 599X. Uh, 599X. Um, which just... It's one of the best sounding cars in my opinion. Uh, I'll... That's part of, this is one of my uh, best sounding cars in Driving Empire. It was in that video. Um, so I think, yes, you should buy it. Because um, you get a lot of good, you have the ability to buy a lot of cars out of it. And I know a lot of cars are going to be going in there at some point. Because it's kind of a game pass and there's not a lot of content to it. So at some point there's got to be additions to it. Next, we're going to go to one of the most recent uh, additions to the list of game passes. And that's going to be Premium Boost. Let's get right into it. For this section of the video, we're going to be on the interstate so I can show you the effect of the boost. And... Immediately, I'm going to say no. For all the cars that I have tested, Premium Boost does ag absolutely nothing. Um, I feel like I was scammed out of this. Oh, come on. Um, it does... This is Powerful Boost. I'll just show you real quick. Powerful Boost. Um, go this. I used the slow car to show you a better effect. So, you got 11 miles per hour out of it. And let's, you get maybe three more, um, about five MPH more. So you get about 16 on this car. That's just not enough of a difference. I tested this on the 599X Evo or 599X. I don't remember which it is. Don't hurt me. Um, it didn't change the top speed the both times I tried, both, you know, 319, 
Um, and then I tried it on the Swagger C8, a mid-speed car, kind of. And it was a small increase as well. I don't know if it's something like coding that those cars don't have the effect on it. Or if it's something else. Those cars had no change in speed. This car had maybe 16. And the powerful boost gave it like 15. Or like 11. Um... We'll just test it on this flat straightaway, just in case that I was wrong or something. Yeah, it's about 11 for this, about 15 for the premium boost. I think absolutely you should not buy the premium boost. It is, I believe, 125. I will check that quickly. Yeah, it's 125, and it's terrible. I, I'd rather buy the track pass again. Or a pass that makes me the gives me the ability to buy, you know, body kits or something. I don't even care about body kit kits, but I'd rather spend Robux on that because it's just five miles an hour. I I would suppose not a very big difference, not worth it. Um, but it depends on. I don't... The acceleration boost might be better on the premium than it is on the powerful, which it might be useful there if you're using a really fast accelerating car and you want it to go ex much faster, which I don't see why you would, but... I mean, it might be... Might be worth it. But the good thing about the premium boost is it... You do have it free on every single car. So, buying it is kind of worth it if you don't want to spend money on the powerful boost. But in, pra like, in a practical sense, it's not worth it. Because I'd much rather just grind like 50k for a car that goes 300 rather than spend 125 Robux. Um, anyways, that's a bit too much time talking about... The premium boost game pass now we'll get to in my opinion the most useless game pass the bus um you can already tell what i'm going to say no it is not worth it not even in a backward savage universe where this bus has the the model completed this is an incomplete game pass i don't know why it's added the bus isn't even complete. Um, it, it, it's terrible. The bus is slow. It has... The only reason I can see people getting this is if they like just to ferry people around, like, 20 people at a time in a role-playing sense. But it's not even a go good role-playing vi video because there's not even, like... An interior or a body it's slow it's and it's like a waste of 25 robux yeah 25 robux for for this for a slow kind of terrible model it's not even complete I'm sure it'd look great if it was completed but yeah it's like awful uh, it's more used as a meme nowadays because it's just 25 rape robux you just threw into a, a dumpster fire um so absolutely not I, i'm tired of talking about this because it's depressing how unvaluable this pass is so next we'll get into free bail Alright, I said we were going to do free bail, but I'm actually going to change that. It's going to be free bail and police. Um, first of all, free bail is not worth it. Um, it's 
like 60 seconds in prison and you can glitch out of the prison by spawning a car so take that as you please so that's i believe it's eight robux yeah eight robux thrown into a fire pit for no reason um the next one is police and actually i can't really decide on this one um in one case the police pass is useful if you're going to cuff rush people basically that's finding people at spawn they're afk and you arrest them and you get their their bounty equivalent in money it gives it to you in only that sense is the police pass worth it in only that sense it's 35 robux i guess if you have someone with a lot of bounty and you arrest them you probably save some time instead of grinding but i think grinding is just overall easier you do you do get a cop car um it's kind of cool they have lights no it doesn't it used to have the GUI where you could have the working lights. Um, over here it doesn't have them. Um, that's just unfortunate. Um, but, I mean, in a role-playing manner, yeah, I guess this is valuable to some role-players or something. But in any other sense, this pass is kind of useless. So I'm going to give it um, a 50-50. Because I see it as useless because I just grind normally. But some people do grind by cuff rushing people. So it is useful in that sense. So 35 Robux might be well spent here. Um, And we're running out of passes. We have VIP, car radio, and mobile customization. I think we'll do mobile customization. Alright, mobile customization is an absolute definite yes. There is so many upsides to this, and it is, I'm going to say, the most valuable game pass on Roblox. Like, most val value-worthy. It's 50 Robux. Here's a, this is a stock Bentley, you know, Continental. And we're going to customize it right here, away from the, you know, customization shop. We'll give it a white color change. I think that looks nice. Rims. And we got to always go black. No reflectance. Calipers. Eh. Let's have bright red. I think that looks kind of cool. Let's see, chrome. Chrome is, you know, this little bit back here. Let's see if that's right. Oh, it changes the secondary. Never customized the Bentley before. So, that was pretty cool. Now this is looking spiffy. Now this is looking good. Right here. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. We'll lower the reflectance. Because that looks awesome. Let me turn the car's lights on so it isn't, you know, deafeningly dark around us. Interior. Alright, let's uh, change that. Oh, it's probably look good in red. Ooh, now that's neat. It is very nice. Spoilers. Um, maybe a lip spoiler. Yeah, I think that looks good. A little lip spoiler. Wraps. Uh, what does carbon fiber look like? Actually, if we made this a bit darker. Now that is looking like some sort of, you know, racing car. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it sounds a bit numb. Um, we'll just put Bentley. That's pain. Um, GT. So, there we go. Uh, you know, Grand Touring. Performance. All right, we're going to lower the suspension. We're going to give it a drag engine. Aspiration. We'll leave it twin turbo because it sounds good. You know we got to get those race brakes. Insane grip tires. 
drivetrain. It's already all-wheel drive, and then we'll put the premium boost on it. Now, we have fully customized the car. We, we could have literally been at spawn while we did this, like, bought the car, and, you know, done it at spawn. Ouch, I ran into that. And, and we just completely customized the car mobily. Let's say you were grinding on the interstate or doing highway races, and you wanted, you got enough money for an upgrade, buy that upgrade right there. And it improves while you're racing. Now that is worth 50 Robux. <laughs> I don't know why it's 50 Robux, because if it was more, I think it'd still be worth it. If it was 100, it'd still be worth the 100 Robux, because it saves time, and it's more convenient. So, most valuable pass in this game is the mobile customization pass by a long bit because as you saw in that segment we literally customized the car without moving but let's let's run through the last two vip and and radio we will run through these right quickly um the VIP pass is worth it. Um, I detail that in another video. Like I said, I'll put it in the description. Next is the radio pass. It is also worth it. So, basically, let's let's run through the list again. I didn't want to take too much time on the radio because it's self-explanatory. The passes that are not worth it are going to be the police pass, kinda. Free bail, bus, and premium boost. And premium boost is in my opinion. The passes that are worth it, police, kinda. Like I said, that was like a 50-50. Radio, without a doubt. Mobile customization, infinitely good. Track cars, pretty good. VIP, absolutely. Um, and that's basically it. Um, I think the passes in this game were well designed, well thought out, and extremely well planned because a lot of them have their pros and cons. Some of them don't have any pros at all, like, you know, the bus pass. Free bail, even though it sucks, it still has a pro that you don't have to pay two times your bounty to get out. So if you have like a hundred thousand bounty, you don't have to pay two hundred thousand to get out of prison. Um, you know, premium boost. I guess it has the upside of like five miles per hour faster than the powerful boost, but that's how you look at it. Um. And that is all for today's video. And I think, yeah, I think that's a good conclusion that I'll list it once again just real quickly. Police, worth it. Uh, radio, worth it. Mobile customization, worth it. Track cars, worth it. VIP, worth it. What's not worth it. Police, free bail, bus, and premium boost, in my opinion. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.